Now that your tests are set up and you have a module which has really nothing in it, normally I'd go in here and i start writing the requirements, but we're going to write the test first. We have our basic test here. I'm going to cheat by copying the first requirement in there. And before I do write my first test, I'm going to look at the other requirements. And I notice they say down the list that something's supposed to be unique. And I'm already thinking about how am I going to implement this? I know that sets are unique, but I don't know how to get particular indices of a set, right? So you can add five things to it. And if they're the same, it's only going to add it once and only have one item. So that's awesome. It's built into the language, but look up by index, dude, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. So we're going to do the bare minimum. So let's write our test. We'll say, uh, I guess if you call an empty function, you get an empty array. <laughs> Okay, simple enough. So in Python or JavaScript, it looked like this. If you've never seen an Elm, functions are called like this. So we have an empty array. Let's do our basic assertion on it. We're going to say that this array is zero. All right, so we've got our first test. Everything looks good. The compiler's happy with it. The test, however, like, dude, what? There's nothing there. Like, did you mean to expose something? Well, no, because I wrote the test first. So let's first go implement empty. It's a function that takes no parameters and it returns an empty array. So if you're from JavaScript or Python, it looks like that. And element basically this. So we have an empty array. Let's go ahead and expose it. So we're going to make that a publicly accessible function from our module. And then in our test, we have to import it. And voila, our test passed. And you, at this point, you think, oh, okay, I've done step two. I'm victorious. I've written the test first. Then I wrote the actual implementation, and my test is green. So I'm, I'm red, green, refactor. It's time to refactor, right? Well, I highly advise be paranoid. See the test fail, right? Not just from the initial, but see if you can make it fail, right? Cool. It's supposed to equal zero, but I told it to equal one. Fantastic. So you can hit save. Now you feel really good about step two. And then you can go ahead and go to the refactor step. So we're not going to refactor right now because I'm not really sure how to make this better yet. So we're just going to keep going.